Hello, Mzansi. Sanam gela budi jo lebo pelo lagwa SABC2. The aim of our show is to help deal with food-related issues in order for us to live healthier, happier lives. Every week, in memo kutini sibu zeno ma yenen funu yaz ngogo zla. Basically, tina sleta on ngondo ngondo bet kuba pendo le imi puzo yen. Nam tanda we give you healthier and nutritious recipes for ugu lagwa nini tanda. Usandile from Montana posted a video on our Twitter page with a few questions ngalo luta. Hi, Dijo. So I want you guys to assist me in recipes where I can enjoy my unhealthy food in a healthy way. Sisa Hamba Sir Shangan Nusandi let you learn more about him before Simpendul. Let's watch. Ika Malami Usandi Le Wagasienga and I am 22 years old. I love cooking. I love watching DJ Lebo Pelo and I make sure that I never miss a show. So every episode, do the expert and they tell us about certain foods, how good and bad they are for our bodies. I've realized that 90% of the sicknesses are caused by the food that we eat. So I'm not sure if I should stop eating e cheese and ice cream or are there other alternatives where I can enjoy these foods where it's more healthier and good for my body. So DJ Lebo Pelo, in finding recipes where I can enjoy my foods and make them without no stress of having to worry about my health. We are joined by nutritionist and chef Ushara Nungom, who will be answering in Mibuzo Gasandile. Please join in my good Twitter at DJ Lebupilo or Facebook, DJ Lebupilo, Instagram, or even email me, DJ Lebupilo at sabc.co.za. See how we Welcome back. Usasa naam labu dijo libu pilo. Naam tanya skuluma about healthier and nutritious recipes for common foods that we like. Nutritionist and chef Usharan Ngoma will be giving valuable answers to Imi Buzo Gasandile. Let's find out more about her. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm well and you. So excited to have you here. I'm happy to the be here as well. The viewers have no idea what Uzo Bayer's are. <laughs> Before say it all, we heard that Sandile says he's been watching it digital label and he wants to change his diet completely. Mara, he's struggling to let go of Ugo Laktandayo. He has specific questions that he has posted on our Twitter page and we'll be answering these questions with our expert, Nam Klanj. You can also have a say with a subject here to go Twitter at digital label or go Instagram digital label or Facebook as digital label or email djolebupilo at sabc.co.za. Let's face the fact, right? Mm -hmm. So people have been saying that since watching the show, we've mm -hmm. been trying to change mm -hmm. and let go of our favorite foods, but go mm -hmm. Why do imagine. you think it's so hard? I think we get used to the food that we, we've been eating for many years. And some of the food becomes so fond to us because we, we, we sort of like train our taste buds. Mm -hmm. So taste buds don't change so easy. But mm -hmm. you can actually help them transition if you know how to prepare the right meals in a helpful manner, but still tasting similar to what you know. So you're saying it, it can taste like something else. So if I like cheese, I can make something that can taste like it. Yes. I find it's very easy to transition with someone if you're giving them something they think it's what they know. Aha. Whether it fools me or not, but if it's good for me, then it's good. Then fool me every day. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Sandy, let's got a few questions for you. Okay. So guys, Mina, I love my cheese. So I make sure, Guti, whenever I go to a spatula joint, I make sure, Guti, they add extra cheese for me. That's how much I love it. So I want to know, is there any healthier recipes where I can make my cheese and enjoy it without having to worry about the bad effects it has on my body. Mm. 
Come on, Christian. Yeah. We are all fans of cheese. Were you a fan of cheese before you? I were you a fan of the bad cheese? cheese. The yes, bad the one. bad cheese. I loved cheese. And then this is why you devised a way of getting yourself the cheese yes. bite better. So there's many things that you can actually do. What you need to create that cheese flavor, you would need nutritional yeast flakes. They tend to give it a cheesy flavor without the cheese in it, but they're very high in B vitamins. So this is what you brought? So yeah, I brought this so that we can make the cheese ourselves. It will look like cheese, it will taste like cheese, well, but with none of the cheese in it. I get to what I'm saying, if it looks like a duck, if it cracks like a duck, then it is a duck. So should we put it in the Okay, so you've got agar agar over here. Ega, it's a Ega, substitute Ega. for gelatin. So it will help uh, your, your recipe to just form up like real cheese. So Ibiza Ega Ega. It's called Ega Ega. Did you make it up? No, I didn't make it up. I just learned the ingredient. Okay, so Ega Ega. Yes. And then Lena has got pink salt. Let's yes. listen to you. Tengani pink salt. By getting yeah. my meal. And then Lena in the That's nutritional yeast flakes. That's the one I was talking about. So for every cheese recipe, you'll either need nutritional yeast flakes or torula yeast or mm. uh, brewer's yeast. Yeast, there's a different types of a different type of brewer's yeast that is actually just made. Multi brewers in Kabang. I know, and right. we, others would be thinking about the yeast you use for baking bread, yes. but it's totally different okay. from that. Yeah. When you're making permazin, you'll use like CCM seeds, you know, oh. you just vary the, the, the ingredients. Yeah, when you take each other, you each other like say tanda each other. Yes. Yes. Besides the fact that it's rotten milk and that has been added, uh, where, where bacteria has been added yeah. into it. Then they've added some chemicals, they've added some spices, which are, which are excitotoxins. Mm. So they're so really they not good for us. But what's worse about cheese is that cheese does not digest. It's like plastic. So it just literally covers your organs. And that's why one of the things we do when we detox somebody, you'll find that they'll be getting some mucus coming out, yes. even in their bowels coming out because the cheese did not digest. So it sits in your body for years and years. Okay, so in they've got a lot of these additives. Yes. When the cheese is the same, the cheese is the same, it has nothing. Nothing is bad. Because I see you've got the turmeric and the anti-inflammatory properties. Yes. They should know this by now. <laughs> so is this also going to give us the color? It's going to give us the color. So imagine, you want to blend a blender? We're going to blend this. What way, please? Okay, so. Okay. Spetty blender here, too. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so we're going to start with the cashew nuts. Okay. What we did is we took a third cup of cashews mm -hmm. and three quarter cups of water. We boiled them a bit just to soften them. Mm -hmm. But if you've soaked them overnight, you don't need to actually boil them. Okay, do I you just need a... need a spatula, yes. Spatula. Yeah. All right. Okay, so as far as my cashews, does it matter which, which, which order you go with? Or? Not really, because okay. you're just throwing everything in there. Okay, yes. listen, let's make it. Uh, we need the, 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 the red peppers. Red peppers. Okay. This is about uh, a quarter of a large red pepper. Okay. Sometimes mang blender no use it crushed ice, yes. but they see here upetamans. Yeah, you could use crushed ice, then it will set much more quickly. Mm. The only thing you need to make sure that you blend it really smooth so mm. that you don't get any particles that are not. Gum -gum. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to throw in three tablespoons of egg egg. So it's already very like useful. This yes, colorful they make it so, so much more easier for you to be so accurate. We need a tablespoon the green oh, one. Okay. Yes. It's nice because you can do this with your kid. You and can. Say, Baby, give me the green In one. fact, that's the easiest way you can help kids transition together with you. Yes. They cook with them. Yeah. Nobody wants to eat something that's bad, but if they've made it, they always think it's nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're going to add one. We need the egg, egg. Two. This is egg, egg. Okay. Three. So just ensure that your water is hot because you would have boiled your cashews because that's what's going to help it to set very okay. well. Okay. Yes. Turmeric? Um, or salt? A, a, just a pinch of turmeric. Okay. So we'll just use that small. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we need two tablespoons. Okay. Just thinking. Yeah. So, and obviously the salt, salt. Ian's and it's This is very good. Oh, Himalayan salt. It adds flavor, more? but you, just a little bit more. Um, but besides flavor, you know that the benefits of Himalayan salt. Unlike the normal salts, you know, where they say that they, they can raise your blood pressure, Himalayan salt can actually help do the opposite of that. It can help drop it. Uh -huh. um, it's not a, it's a, it's a rock salt, so it's got a whole lot of minerals that are really uh -huh. good in your system. Uh -huh. And it's not bleached. No, like it's not bleached. Salt. Yes, it's not bleached. It's not iodated as well. Because uh -huh. the process of iodizing salts is actually not good for you. So we need that tablespoon again. Um, and we'll add... 
So the recipe says one tablespoon, but I found you can never go wrong with nutritional yeast So I just add, I'll just add two tablespoons. We need about three tablespoons of lemon. Uh -huh. I prefer using fresh lemons because if mm. you use the, 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 the yes, the one that's already from the fridge, been in the store for long, yeah. it's got preservatives, those are excitotoxins, you don't want that. So you're gonna squeeze in some lemon juice in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you squeeze a little bit more of lemon, mm -hmm. and then we are going to close our blender and start blending. So as the, I mean, mix it color. You don't need to, the blender will do everything. Well, we are old school, Tina, but yeah. it's time to mix it color. Okay. <laughs> well, this makes it so much more easier. You can switch it on for me. Uh. So we need a little bit more of water. So maybe we'll just add over there. We don't need to open the top. So more water. Yeah, just a bit more water. So just open here. Just there. open here. Let's add it in there. In add like a more. little bit more. Okay, let's blend once more. Can smell the cheese. Can, can, can you have a scent? Yes. Yay. Okay. We want it to be smooth, smooth. Yeah. Maybe if I lift. Yes, perfect. Wow, I see the color. Yay. Now you and can right, switch it multi, off. Multi the peppers, they add that, that they will add that color. in pain. And it looks it. more red now, but yeah. when it sets in the fridge, it tends to lighten up. So we're going to open this and then throw it okay, in Okay, so we're going to bamba so, bamba la. Okay. Yeah, okay. There ah, you go, okay. Okay. Look at that cheese go. Ah, okay. <laughs> Look at that. So some of the, the contents might remain inside yes. there since this is a tap. So what we'll scrape it out with the, with the spatula, mix it all in, and then put it in the fridge, and then we'll let it set. I can smell the turmeric. I can smell, I can yes. smell it. It's divine. Okay. Whoever thought we would be making our own cheese, <laughs> like what is your label pill? Hey? Yeah, we're ever learning in life. Okay. <laughs> So you, what, do you think spatula? Spatula, let's scrape it out. How do you scrape it out from here? Um, so maybe let's just support. remove the, 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 the top. So <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so. Yes, there you go. And then we just add it in here. You can use a spatula to scrape it you all know, out. You want to save so everything. It also mm. has that... Um, that cheesy smell. Yeah, that bolile smell. Yes. <laughs> The nutritional yeast flakes are actually helping with that. So our, our container is a bit smaller, but it's fine. We'll mm. take that, put it in another container. You can make, you know, two, three different bowls. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Then what we do is we take this, we put this in the fridge fine. and let it set for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, Yonke. 30 minutes, Yonke. Yes, honey. In the meantime. In the meantime, then you can make other dishes. So you start with your cheese because you know it needs to set. Okay. And then you can prepare your other dishes. Remember, normally cheese, you use it as a topping on your lasagna, yes. on, your, on your pizza, yes. or whatever. So you can always start with it and then allow it to set. You are very good for us. <laughs> Next question, Sandy Sandy. I love me some ice cream, and I just need ways where I can make it at home and eat it at home without having to worry about how bad it is for me and my body. Common question. Yay. Do you have a sweet tooth, Sharon? I have one. I love everything sweet. And the nice thing about the plant-based diet is that you can have everything sweet without the guilt. Mm. I like the way you said that. Yes. Everything sweet without the guilt. Without the guilt. So, are you talking about us making our own? We're going to make our own ice cream. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so Nglanda in, Okay, so if you can just get some frozen bananas there, peel them first, chop them up, put them in a bowl, put them in the freezer. Freeze and them. I just keep freezing them. Then whenever I want ice cream, I know I have them. I've got like different containers ready for me to actually use. Okay. So we froze this a while back. And then we also have coconut cream. So now we're gonna throw in our bananas. Oh so maybe let's just use half of these. So we're gonna add in half of our bananas. They're not as fully frozen as would love to have them to create that. So you make sure yours are frozen. frozen. Okay, I think this much is enough. Okay. And then we're gonna add our coconut cream. We put it in the freezer as well. It's not fully frozen, but it's quite cold. So, so it's coconut cream. Help us. You can make your own coconut cream. From my coconut cream. But yes, milk. you can buy. You can buy coconut cream, ready-made coconut cream. Mm. And then what you then do is you close your blender. Oh, oh wait, 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 let's add you right. Why cotton? <laughs> Why cotton? It's a good essence. thing that you're here. Essence. Yes, because you're making, creating a vanilla flavor here. So oh, yes, that just a pinch is enough. That's fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, now we close the blender. I'm fine, got up. We're going to add that at the end. So we're going to make a vanilla chocolate dish type of ice oh, cream. Oh, you're killing me. Sandy Lay, we have one Sandy Lay. Okay, so now we're going to blend it. Pulse it first. 
Let's pulse it. Um, so on the blender, you'll find that there's the over here, there's no pulse button. <laughs> Yum. So when the bananas are frozen, it actually comes out like soft serve ice cream. Oh. So we need a glass where we can pour it in. Can I bring that glass, yes, please? For you? Okay. You're the only guest over Zoom let is in Okay. Okay. So you can just pour it in there. You notice we did not add any sweetener. It's just the bananas, the coconut cream, and you'll tell me if it's sweet enough for you with your sweet tooth and all. Oh, I've got such a sweet yeah. tooth. So, you, so I don't have to run you, away from my favorite foods. I can just to, make my favorite foods you don't just healthier. Yeah. Yes. And then what I like doing at the end. Now you can do this. You can make your own blueberry jam. You can make strawberry jam. You can make, you can jam. make yes, you can make your own oh. gems. <laughs> then once you've done made the gems, you can then create the flavor you want. You can strawberry vanilla ice cream. And now with the carob, we're making um, chocolatey. chocolatey type of ice cream. So you add it in. When it's frozen, you sort of like cut it in and you work it in, then it's gonna look all, add it in. And then you swirl it in. Then you're gonna have your vanilla chocolate ice cream going there. Mm, mm, mm. You wanna add lots of coconut cream to kill the banana flavor, but you still like the banana flavor because mm. it's very nice when it's frozen. Yes. Yes. So Sharon, are you saying to me I don't have to run away from? You don't need to run away. How is it sweet? It is good. It's very sweet. And, and it's there's a... no refined sugars. No. Sharon, I'm going to confess to you and the viewers. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. And I thought, okay, brownie thing tasted. Yes. Naluma, delicious because my 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 palate is used to it. Yes. But it was too sweet. Ah, my system is not, sugars, so, yeah. And the system I'm no longer used to that kind of sweetness. Mm -hmm. But this kind of sweetness, my system it, is going, yes. That's true. So when I'm on top of the brown lime seven, you're going to have lentils as well. I already know it's not easy wrong, go to ice cream in each yes. way, which is the sugar. Yes. That's and been some added. of them, there's the turpentine. Who's oh, the turpentine? Yes, the turpentine. Turpentine. <laughs> the turpentine that they put into our paint, you know, when they make stuff. No, shut up. Bulk, commercial. No, shut they up. They add anything that will make the ice cream look good, last long, and some of the ice creams actually have turpentine in them. So silly turpentine. We're eating turpentine. Mm. Okay, what else so is in there? It's actually better for you to just make your own ice cream. Yeah, take yeah. time. And then you get your cow's milk, of which I mean, we've been learning the dangers of cow's milk now, the no, pus, no. the blood, the casein, everything else that you want to avoid. But with this one, you don't have to worry about anything. Everything that's in, it, it's the same as the cheese. You can have it every day. You can even have it for breakfast. I can you imagine it. breakfast, summer, so ice I cream? I just want to give it to cow's milk. Yes. Pass blood and casein. Yes. If you're still drinking cow's milk, by getting and my meal. One peg is your little because I'm a guest and my meal. Yeah, the cheese we had already made some that was ah. already frozen and set. Look at that. Look it at looks this. like cheese. Can you please cut this please. cheese? Please. I, I would like for you to taste it and tell us what you think of oh, the cheese. Oh, goodness. I'm so excited Yay. today. Okay. okay. So you could grate this, by the way. You yes. could grate it, grate it like your normal cheese, you know, and yeah, just taste and tell us what you think of this cheese. Like drizzling. I'm through. I pray you enjoy it. Wow. It's different. Mm. But it's nice. Is it mm. nice? That's it's good. Nice. Let me not influence you. No, no, no. It's good. I can. It's. It's airy. Oh, it's not true. heavy. It's, it's not, not heavy. Mm. It's not because it doesn't have none of the fat that you would get in your normal cheese. Can I melt when this you, on my on yes. my bread? Can I melt it? Yes, on your pizza, really? on your bread, toasted bread. Wow. You you can literally when you cut it, if you feel it, the consistency is such that you can take it like your normal cheese and grate it on top of stuff. Mm. Yes, it's about playing around with the flavors and the taste. You're playing with food. You're playing with goodness. Yeah. Sharon, go look some just some some words to Sandile too, mm -hmm. because I know Sandile is watching this and is thinking, oh my gosh, it's such a lot of work. Mara, it's possible. It's, it is. Possible. Tanda, eat chocolate, eat cake, eat tanda. You can actually have your favorite food, but guilt free. Guilt free. And you know the one thing I want to say to uh, Sandile is that the f the fact that it's healthy doesn't mean it has to be tasteless. Mm. Healthy is not equals to ugly food. Mm. You can have healthy food and still enjoy it. Um, 
you, you've tasted it yourself. So. I like it. Yeah. Vagiti Sharon is the one. Yes, ni nomo na oba minang pizingi. Lama cheese are healthy. While you are eating the cheese, ako e e yellow. Change your lifestyle. Ngabe kono kuti lo kufunde le gushoyi tunamza anje. Unombo na cheese ofunu gushara na tim club. Oh, zabo Twitter at DJ Lebo Pilo. Or Facebook DJ Lebo Pilo. Or Instagram DJ Lebo Pilo. Or DJ Lebo Pilo. Or Facebook DJ Lebo Pilo. Or email me DJ Lebo Pilo at sabc.co.za. Or send it to view. And take our notes now. You can also log on and watch us again and again. Take notes now. We have the cheese. Make the cheese on our SABC. Education's YouTube channel. Must be a dollar. We go back to Sandile to hear what he has learned from Osharon Jengram. Siabuya Manj. Back. Welcome back. Usase naam lagu dijo libu pilo on SABC2. When we met Usandile ekkale nguwe show, ebe fun guaz guti, are there healthier recipes for the common foods he enjoys? He has seen Ngotoyam with Sharon online. Let's touch base no sand sand and find out what he has picked up from my chat with the expert. What an interesting show. After watching this show, I can now enjoy my favorite foods without any doubt. Overall, I am happy about the recipes, how to make cheese and ice cream, and they, they're so easy and simple, and I, I believe that I can do it at home and enjoy it without having any regrets. I have also learned that being healthy doesn't mean having untasty food, you know? And yeah, I will be making these recipes at home definitely, without no doubt. Thank you, Dijo Pelo, for the valuable information. I have learned a lot, and I, I, I saw how Simple it is to make ice cream and cheese, and thank you for that. Oh, it's a lot of show. 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 It's a the day for next week's show. Masangane Lagwa, SABC2 for more Dijo Le Bupilo. Same place, same time. It's a date.